start walking. Very good. Turn. There you go. Turn this way. Right there. Have him sit. Hold it. Sit. And do it again with the D O W N. Down. Down. Wait. wait. Very good. I usually like to wait two to three seconds before, after I say the command, to see if the dog will comply to it. Very, you got to give him time to process, process it. Now, I mean, for the dog, never to down for you. And then finally down, this is a huge, big thing for him. Mm -hmm. He's having a hard time with it. Mm -hmm. So you're changing the pack order in his mind. He's, he's going to have a hard time. You know who's going to have a hard time? <laughs> wait, watch. <laughs> he is. No big deal. Now that he knows that you're running a show and his mouth is open and he's relaxed, that's awesome. With me, never did he have his mouth open. He was way too tense. The trainer told us. Always praise them after everything they do right. Here's why you don't. Mm -hmm. If he was tense when you made him down, and he was scared, and then you praised him, what if you just told the dog that it's okay to do? Mm -hmm. Be afraid. Mm -hmm. That anytime you're working a problem, or, and they're going through a learning curve, I like to remain neutral mm -hmm. until I see a consistent pattern of behavior, then I'll praise. That's a total myth. That's telling me that... The trainer or the owner is, uh, is rewarding the dog because they feel good. Yeah. Some dogs will choke themselves with that flat collar. And then they don't want me to put a choke chain on their dog? I'm like, come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, what, what, what's the difference? Yeah. So right now he's, now he's a little tense with you, as you can notice, which is good, finally. Mm -hmm. All right, start walking, Bob. Very good questions. Just start. Good. You didn't say anything to him. You've got to remember, your main line of communication is body language with him, not verbal. All right, turn. Yep, you can go slow turns just so he can process it. Right there, stop. Have him sit. Hold a sit. And then D-O-W-N. Down. Excellent. And just remain neutral. Just remain neutral. There he goes. He's relaxing. He's relaxing. Every time he's feeling stressed now, he's relaxing. He did not do that in the beginning. Yeah. And that tells me that he's internalizing his stress. And of course you're going to have issues. Of course you're going to have issues in the face of stress. Because he's internalizing it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Alright, let's do it a couple more times and we'll have uh, Bob too do it. Good. Very good. You don't need to praise him much. He's already feeling good about himself. Pretty darn good. Head, tails up. Anytime you want, go ahead and stop. Up to you. Good, he's already taking Down. the initiative to sit when you stop. And is his mouth open? Yep. He's there. Very good. Now, why is that stressing him out? See, that's something you have to think about. Why is making him down stressing him out? Why does he have to relieve stress when you make him down? Because he's never done it for him right. this many times. He's never done it, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Alright, make him sit down again and then we'll have... Uh... Hold to sit. Go ahead. Down. Let him talk back. That's good. That's okay. He still did it. One thing that I like that you're not doing is that you're not yelling. Mm -hmm. um, that's great. A lot of people have a tendency to yell. They think, men have a tendency to say, well, if you say it louder, you know, you're going to make him do it. It's, not, it's a he myth. He gets confused. He gets confused. And you've added stress... To, an, uh, to a command, and here's even the worst thing, Bob. He thinks he doesn't have to listen until you get mad. Yeah. Anytime he's been at all aggressive, I've been yelling at him. Yeah, because you've, you've added the stress. Mm -hmm. Just like when you're trying to de-escalate somebody, you don't want to yell at them, do you? Yeah. You want to you remain calm so at least one person can be calm. Yeah. So then what do you do, Hector, if they don't do it and you're yelling or you're talking soft? Just correct them like you did. That conveys to them that you're running the show, and it doesn't resort to your hands touching him and him becoming hand sensitive. Mm -hmm. Now he's become, if anything, leash and collar sensitive, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Better than using your hands. Yep. Okay? But we haven't hurt him with it. Hell. You made him. Mm -hmm. You ready? We'll see how he is with you now. He's, he might protest a little bit with yeah. you. All right? He might protest because we've disrupted the pack order. Mm -hmm. But so what? So what? Okay, walk a little bit. If you want him to bond with you more, you do this. Come back around. A little stress, not bad. Keep walking, keep walking. We got to get him used to. Um, we got to get him used to doing obedience in the house because he's not do he's not used to it. Right. 
I can tell right now, just by the way he wants to go exit and go where he's more comfortable. Good, keep walking, Bob. Very good, just like that. He's much more peppy with you. You notice that? Mm. All right, turn towards me. A little bit more peppy, right there. I box him every night. Right there, stop. Okay. Relax on the collar just a little bit. Now tell him the D-O-W-N. Down. Down. Good. So, remember when I first tested you, I said that when, he, when I push him down, he was going to lean my body against me and try to bully me a little bit? Not that bad. I think with you, he wanted you to praise him. Yeah, because I do all the time. Because you do all the time. Stay in the side of air right yeah, now. Mm -hmm. yep. Stay in the side of air. Yep. I mean, a dog this good should not be snapping at you and biting at you. Mm -hmm. He should be doing it now, and yeah. he's not. Mm -hmm. He should have did it when I was stressing him, and he did it. At all. Yeah. He exercised a tremendous amount of self-control and no. a tremendous amount of restraint. Yep. Okay? Me, no. Go ahead. Keep, go ahead and walk with him. There's really nothing in there, but I'm not going to undermine you, but, uh, Bob, but there's really nothing in there. She's just really curious about all the smells that I have in there. Right there. Stop, Bob. Tell him to sit. Oh, he's going to do it already. Down. <laughs> now, because you do this outside, because you take him for a walk outside, I'd like to do training in your driveway. Okay. Back and forth to see if he changes outside compared to in here. Um, the reason why I like to start doing obedience in the house is because he spends most of the time in the house. Mm -hmm. And he's got to learn that this house is a, is a training arena. Yep. It's not just the house where he lives in. He's got to listen. He's got to. He's got to listen to what's expected of him. He's got to exercise self control at the door. He's got to. He's got to sit down while you're watching TV or talking. He just can't do what he wants. Yep. And that's where you set boundaries for him. And that's when he stops treating you like another dog. Okay. Now I do walk him every night, and I walk him for a couple miles, but I walk him on. Retractable. retractable. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. As a matter of fact, a lot of people don't even like retractables. I love them. Yeah, me too. I love them. Um, here's the thing with the retractable though. You can label free time, but also label training time. Mm -hmm. So in your two mile walk, every quarter mile or every half a mile, do 30 seconds a minute of obedience. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. And then back to free again. Okay. Just let him know you're still running the show. Yep. And he's still having fun. Okay. Just mix the two together, label free time, and label training time. That way he can differentiate when he should do what. Yep. Okay. Um, what I like to do is if I'm out there with a retractable and I see another dog, eh, it's a good training moment. Make him heel, down, sit, stay, while the dog passes. Yep. I do make it, when bicycles go by, or there you go. Go by, I make him come back and sit down. Very good. Yeah. I mean, I just started that the <laughs> last month. but That's good though. Uh, that's good. But he's still too happy with you. Yeah. I gotta call him make him a little yeah. more serious. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do another one and then we'll start going outside if he if he's this good. Yeah, now he's starting to slow down, Bob. Now he's starting to slow down. Yeah, right there. Stop. Have him sit. Sit. Nice, nice. And then D O W N. Down. Yep, just remain neutral. Remain neutral. The down command conveys respect. You've, you've confused them when you praise them too much and you start praising them a lot for submitting to you. It's a little confusion in their yeah. part. Think about it in the leadership role. Yeah. You know, you don't want that too much. Yeah. They, they start mistaking your kindness for weakness. Yeah. Just like people. You know, they start mistaking your kindness for weakness. Now you have a, a battle of wills. Now you have a struggle. Yeah. Just remain neutral with him. Oh, he's not changing at all. He's not changing at all over here. Okay, come back this way. Good, good, good. He wanted to stop, and you said, uh-uh, I'm keeping going. And he's used to doing his own thing out here, though, Bob. Yeah, <laughs> all right, turn, turn. He's used to doing his own thing. Right there, stop, have him sit. Sit. Very good. Go ahead and have him down. Down. Wait, wait. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're very good. Okay. One more time and then we'll go inside and we'll talk about the come command. That one's a deal breaker sometimes, depending on where you're at. Okay, turn. Right there, stop. Right there, stop. Good, good. I'll have him down. Down. 
just a little bit down and there we go not very hard very just just enough pressure to know what direction he should go which is straight down very good very good. some dogs my dog needs to be stressed your dog needs to be happy doing this it's a Portuguese water dog yeah. they're supposed to be happy <laughs> all right let's do it again tell them to stay sit any direction you want stay reinforce stay. no tell, as soon as he gets sit. yep as soon as he gets it's okay if he down tell him to stay stay very good very good good call him Come. make him sit when he gets to you sit there we go good boy excellent excellent Man, that's better than what I thought especially in the house where he's used to taking off on you yeah he usually just does what he wants but then again, you weren't setting boundaries. That's right. We have That's never it. set boundaries. And he needed this. Mm-hmm.